get sparkles get out of one. We're gonna do a little thing about I want you to be able to talk to your blacksmith. The biggest thing is is you've got to be able to, to tell your blacksmith what you want. Because most of the blacksmiths do not shoe gated horses. Now hopefully you got one that has or will. But you gotta have one that'll listen to you. <coughs> I wanted to have him a fresh shoe job, but it didn't work out. He's not hurting to be shod, but I want you to see his angles. They're on, they're on a 50 degree angle. I want front and back. I want him to have a good long front foot and he could, he could stand a little longer toe, if anything. Don't think this is long. This is not. From the, from the hairline, from the coronary band to the toe, I like to have three and a half, four inches. Uh, 50 degree angle always, that's low in the heel. Uh, give him a little toe. Back foot is, is shot the exact same way. 50 degree angle, but you don't want any toe. Walk with me out here on this camera and keep it going. The, uh, the, the basic walk, let's do my feet. Walk, the people get this, gotta get this in their head. When you walk, you land on your heel. Okay, when you trot, you trot like this. You're landing on your toe or flat footed, but you cannot trot on your heels. If you do, you're gonna fall. Okay, now most blacksmiths are sitting a horse on an angle to trot. We're not dealing with trot, we're dealing with gait. This, walk. So the blacksmith's got to get this in his head. Lower in, in the heel, long toe, so he can land. <coughs> Pronounce his foot. <coughs> now if you want him to trot and go into the gate, well sit him up and just wipe, just wipe his gate out. So this is critical to get the feet right. 50 degree angle, nice long toe, very little heel, 50 degree. Back feet, same way, just put no toe, just break the toe. I hope you're, you and your blacksmith converse on this, because you could absolutely destroy a gate from the shoes. Thank you.